I'm an idiot, dog. I think like I'm addicted to losing. Not addicted. I think like losing money is like part of me. It's part of my DNA. Let me tell you guys. First of all, I've had my business for seven years, right? I've had my business for seven years and it's been a grind, bro. For those of you that don't know what I do, I build servers, okay? I build servers and workstations. I've actually been in this industry since like 2012, but I've had my own business for seven years and it's been a grind. There's been a lot of bad times, way more bad times than good times, but there's been a lot of good times also, right? Very bad financial times, very good uh, financial times, but I've made a lot of mistakes, right? I made a lot of mistakes. As you guys know, there's a lot of people on YouTube that are teaching you how to make money, how to run a business, how to hit a lick, how to make $100,000. And you guys already know most of them are bullshit, bro. Most of them are BS. They're just trying to sell you a course. They're trying to sell you something. And most likely, their only source of income is selling you a course, right? I don't see too many people say like the boring stuff, right? And, and I'm going to tell you this right now. The boring stuff or the important stuff. Now, let me tell you what a boring stuff is, right? I've made a lot of mistakes, like I said. I've lost a lot of money. I've made a lot of dumb mistakes. And I do and I do things very fast and not careful, right? Now, like I just said, I build servers. So shipping these servers, it's in those boxes, right? Those boxes, they're big boxes. They're like 36 by 24 by 10. And they're usually... 45, 50 pounds to like 90 pounds, right? So they cost money. Now, from here to Miami shipping a server box with my FedEx account, it's around 60 bucks, 55 bucks, 60 bucks, which is a good deal, right? Recently, I wanted um, this Dubai chocolate, right? There's this like viral Dubai chocolate. It's supposed to be an amazing chocolate. There's pistachio, blah, 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 right? And I have a lot of clients in Dubai. So I hit up one of my clients that I'm cool with. I'm like, hey, have you seen these Dubai chocolates? He goes, yeah, I could get you. Like, yeah, you want one? I'm like, yeah, can you just ship me one? I'll pay you, blah. He's like, no, don't worry about the money, yada, yada, yada. So he got me a couple pieces and he got me like dry ice and stuff. And I sent the FedEx guy to get them. And the FedEx guy told him, hey, these need like FDA papers. This isn't, a, this isn't like super important part of the story. It's like the FedEx guy told me you need an ex, the FedEx guy said you need FDA papers. So long story short, I went on the FDA website. I talked to them. It's like getting those chocolates here, even for me, like as a gift is impossible. Now I had to ship, I had to send, I had to get back a server that I shipped to my client in Miami, right? One of my good clients in Miami, I had to get a server back. Now, remember those chocolates? I sent a label to the Dubai guy to send me some chocolates, right? And that label got saved on my computer, but it didn't work out. So now I have to send the label to my Miami guy to ship me back a server. So me being the idiot that I am, this is the mistakes that I make, bro. This is the stupid mistakes that I make and I lose stupid money. I accidentally sent my Miami guy the Dubai label, right? From Dubai to me, right? I'm in California. So from Dubai to California, I sent him that label, right? With my Dubai guy's name on it and stuff. And right afterwards, I didn't, for some reason, I sent him the right label to from Miami to me. So my client used the Dubai label. This isn't his fault. This is all my fault. I'm an idiot. So my client used the Dubai label. Few days later, the server shows up and I'm looking at the label. It says Dubai. I'm like, I didn't get anything this big. I thought it was the chocolates. I'm like, oh, these things came like, well, I don't understand. And I'm like, I didn't get, what did I order from Dubai besides the chocolate? So I thought it's the chocolate. So I opened up the server and I saw it's my client. I opened up the big box. It's one of those big boxes, right? I saw that it's my Miami client. I told my Miami client, I'm like, hey, like, oh, thanks for sending it back, whatever. I had to do some other, I had to do some stuff to the server. So, but I checked, it said Dubai on it from Dubai to me. And I'm like, damn, I sent them the label. I sent them the Dubai label. So I told my client, I'm like, hey man, I accidentally sent you a Dubai label. But I, whatever, it's my fault. I said, hey, the server got back to me. I didn't even think about the money, right? I thought FedEx will adjust it because they usually do. Now, today I went in my bank. Today I went in my bank. I don't usually check my bank a lot because I have like anxiety. When I, I don't check my bank. So today I checked my bank and I saw $820 from FedEx. Now I ship a lot, right? I ship a lot. There's times I ship like 10 servers at a time. 
So I saw 800, I'm like, I'm trying to think like, what did I ship that could have been $800? I'm like, you know what? Let me just go to the FedEx site. So I go to my FedEx dashboard, right? And I check the cost and I look at the $820 one and it said from Dubai to you. And I'm like, damn dog, they charged me. I'm like, damn, they charged me actually this much because they thought, but the weird part is it didn't come from Dubai. It came from Miami. So I thought to myself, I'm like, you know what, man? It's not like FedEx, FedEx lost money, you know? It still came from Miami to me the same way. So I did a dispute, today is Saturday, you know? They're not really open like, like the, um, after two. So I did a dispute on their site. It said, you've been denied. Now I'm hoping I could call FedEx on Monday and say, hey guys, like I accidentally sent my Dubai, uh, my Miami guy a Dubai label that I wasn't even gonna use. And he accidentally used that to ship that thing back to me. And you guys charged $820, which the ch actual charge should be around $55. Can you guys adjust it? I tried to dispute it online. You guys denied me. Can you guys help me out? I've been your client for a long time. I've been a guy. I I've been using FedEx for a long time. So yeah, dog. I like most, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to help me out, but most likely I lost $820. Now to some people, they're going to be like, oh, it's $820. That's a lot of money, man. That's a lot of money. And like I said, a lot of times, like I'm not careful. I've had my business for seven years. I've made a million mistakes and these things add up. Even a $20 mistake, even a $40, $50 mistake, I, it adds up. But an $820 mistake, that's a lot of money, man. So yeah, dog, like now I have to wait for Monday. I have to call FedEx. Hope, hope, hope. They'll be understanding, which there's nothing to not understand. They didn't lose money. It's not like FedEx is getting screwed in this. They're not. The item still came from Miami to California. It's not like it came from Dubai to California and I'm trying to get the Miami price. No, bro. It's just the wrong label. So now I got to, well, hopefully they fix it. But yeah, man, these are the boring things, right? These are the boring things that's going to cost you a lot of money, man. These are the little stupid stuff that i do that i'm such an idiot bro I was, it was a stupid mistake but i work fast you know i do things fast i'm not careful i'm like messy and stuff and stuff like this happens man but yeah dog that's that's a that's 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 something i did recently like an idiot that i lost money and i don't know i'm gonna try to stop like i'm trying to be more careful but this isn't i don't i don't think this isn't the first time and i don't think it's gonna be the last man thank you so much for watching if you guys have any business questions man I'm not a millionaire. I'm not a billionaire. I'm not one of these guys with a Lambo. I grind. I've had my business for seven years, man. Like I said, I've had some crazy days, like insane amounts of money that I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. But I've also had like really bad, bad financial days, man. If you guys are looking at these guys on Instagram and YouTube that are telling you, yeah, they go rent a Lamborghini. Hey, my Lamborghini, dude, these guys don't know nothing about business, bro. Most likely they're selling you a course. Thank you so much for watching and I'll appreciate it if you subscribe. Thank you.